I have to say, you're doing quite well without my help. What are you doing here? You have to get the ones you care about to leave the shelter. They'll be in great danger if you don't do what I say. But remember, Jacob, that has to stay between us. Why? Because things need to play out the way they're supposed to, that's why. I have been here from the beginning. Each of your friends already knows the reason they need to leave. You just have to remind them. Can I tell Commander Baron? No, she won't allow it. Then she will start to question you and keep you away from your missions. That cannot happen. Who the hell are you? That, I can't tell you. It could change the choices that you make in the future, and we can't have that. So whatever happens, you can't know my identity. Not yet, at least. Do you know anything about a CPU that Mac wants me to steal? I do. If hacked, we could take over an infiltrator. Dr. Mac is capable of doing that. I'm not so sure if Alvin can. I think you should steal it. I think I'm more confused than I was before. Just stay focused. We'll see each other soon. Quiet's good. Quiet means we're not getting shot. Rivers, DN four six eight nine zero. Welcome back, Sergeant. Hey, Jacob. Did you see Jennifer on your way here? Isn't she here? She hasn't come back yet, but I'm sure she's fine. About Hollywood Hills. How did it go? I've been to Hollywood Hills and found your old house. Did you? <clears throat> your husband left for Mexico. What are you talking about? I found this letter in your house. It's from Peter. It says that he's heading there to look for you. He couldn't find me when I was right under his nose. How's he gonna find me in Mexico? What a sweet fool. You should go look for him. You're right. I have to find him before he hurts himself. Baron's not gonna like that, but she never scared me. Thank you for finding him for me, Jacob. Don't touch that! That's how things get lost. Hey, Alvin, could you keep it down? I'm working with highly sensitive instruments here. I don't want to recalibrate them every time you say, hey. Anyways, I'm busy. Come back later.
Don't touch that. That's how things get lost. I told you, I can't work with so much noise, I need absolute silence, so please stop that. I swear I should just join Skynet! Have you heard that Dr. Max still alive? Yeah, if I ever get my hands on him, I swear to God. You're back. How is Hollywood Hills? Crawling with Terminators. And what about Mac? How's he? Is he compliant? Fine, but he needs Skynet security codes if we want him to reprogram that plasma rifle. Fair enough. Talk to Alvin about that. Okay, I will. Did Mac say anything else? No, that's all he said. Okay. Talk to Alvin about those security codes, and then come back to my quarters. I'll tell them to let you in. And one more thing, talk to Ryan. That buggy's been sitting there broken for too long. See if something's going on. I've got a suspicion that he's hiding something from me. Hey, Jacob, what's happening? Baron wanted me to ask about that buggy. Is there a problem? Yeah, she's been nagging me to fix the electronics in this piece of shit for a while now. Do you think you can help me with it? <laughs> Why are you asking me? You're the mechanic. Listen, I'm good with tools. You give me a car with a gasoline engine, I'll make it run. But this electronic shit? Pff, I don't know anything about that. You know, most of my life, I live without electricity. Why not tell her? She won't let me cherry-pick my own responsibilities, you know that. She'll throw me right out of here if she finds out. That's why I need your help. Quartermaster will give you all the parts tell you what to do. Just think about it.
I'm here to pick up parts for that buggy. Wasn't Ryan supposed to take care of that? Baron specifically asked me to keep an eye on it. Can he really fix it himself? Sure he can. I'm just the delivery guy. That's it. Yeah. All right. Here are the parts. What's going on? How did you deal with stuff like this before? Oh, I usually asked Jennifer, or one of the scavengers, to find a replacement for whatever it was I was supposed to fix. Yeah, I know. You don't have to say anything. Oh, I've got those parts. Great. Let's get to work. And it's done. All right, that didn't seem that hard after all. Thanks for the help. Alvin. Huh? Uh, what? I'm actually jealous of Mac. He's out there alone. No one's bothering him. If I had those working conditions, I would be just as successful as him. He told me that I'll need some sort of a device to download Skynet's security codes from an HK. Do you have it? Yes, about that. Um, do you remember that day in downtown? I do, it was very traumatic. And because of that, I may have forgotten to bring back some things. Including that device? And the quantum battery which powers it. You won't be able to use it without it. So I guess I'm off downtown. Yes, you do that. I forgot. What was I supposed to bring? You know what? You're lucky. No one will ever mistake you for a machine. What do you mean? Those look like fives to you? Uh, Ryan said they were. Well, here goes nothing. Yep, those were definitely not fives. Commander's waiting for you. Commander. Welcome to the luxury part of the shelter. Oh, I fucking hate living underground. But hopefully we won't have to much longer. Thanks to people like us, this war will end soon. You proved that you'll do whatever it takes, no matter the cost. And so will I. Don't think your efforts go unnoticed. You know, I killed a man long before I killed my first machine. And was hurt by a man long before machines hurt me. Apart from plasma burns, I've got man-made scars underneath these tattoos. And I'll never forget. On the good days, they don't hurt. And I feel like this world is worth fighting for. On the bad days, they make me want to quit. Give up and run like everyone else. But we're so close. Skynet's almost finished. So you can understand I can't run. I need your help, Jacob. I need you to get rid of Mac. He's unpredictable. He sabotaged our mission and killed our men before. I cannot let it happen again. I need you to kill him as soon as he reprograms that rifle. 
You look shocked. But I think I can find a way to persuade you. If you're into it, that is. I am. That's what I thought. Commander. the door behind you. I'm here. Good. I marked the location of Max Code Reader and the battery pack on your map. Let me know when you find them.
Oh, shit! Shouldn't be here. Skynet's right around the corner. Yeah? Show me a corner Skynet's not around. You can leave now, because I'm not opening this door for anyone or anything. I'm just here to help. You want to help me? Fine. Go to my hideout at the metro station and bring back my transmitter. Then you'll help me. All right, I can do that. I've got it. You thought you could fool me? I know you're one of those things. You're not getting away, you motherfucker. What?
No one getting closer. There are still plants. Any of resistance sensors in the area. I see everything. I'll be your eye in the sky. Great.
the battery. Alvin, I'm halfway there. Well, that's not quite true. Once you get the code reader working, you still have to find an HK to connect to. But don't worry, I'm sure they call them hunter killers just for intimidation. I've got the code reader working. Good. Now go look for an HK. During the attack, our team heavily damaged an HK tank. That's your safest bet, but be careful. The area is filled with Terminators. If I were you, I'd sneak past them.
Skynet antenna up ahead. Looks like they set up an outpost here. Should I engage? That's not your main objective, but I'll leave that up to you.
got a problem. That HK is still functional. I can't get near. You need a rocket launcher to even make a dent in that thing. You better find one. Got it. I'm trying to analyze its weakness. Okay, its power supply is located on its back. Shoot it. Hurry, Skynet's reinforcements are starting to show up.
My sensors are picking up an aerial transporter in your vicinity. Got it. Moving out.
I've got the codes. All right, then let's get right to it. Please insert stolen security codes now. Strike a key when ready. And it's done. Like they say, easy money. That's it? With the proper equipment, it only takes a moment. We can fight Skynet with our own weapons. I believe that goes for that infiltrator as well. The first prototype just came out a couple of days ago. Imagine what happens if they become mass-produced. We need to hurry before that happens. That infiltrator has been after us for more than just a couple of days. What do you mean? It's been following me for months. But that simply can't be. That prototype has been out for mere days. It's the same model that destroyed Pacific Division. But I'm connected to Skynet's mainframe and I can see their plans. I'm telling you that what you're saying is not possible. Unless... Oh my god. They will do it. They will finish the TDE. Finish what? TDE, Time Displacement Equipment. For all intents and purposes, it's a time machine. A time machine? Yes, a time machine. You go in, you pick a date, you press a button, and just like that you'll be watching your younger self learning to tie your shoelaces. You know, time travel. Skynet's been working on TDE for a while now. I've been monitoring its progress, but it's still not ready yet. So how could they send anyone back if it's not ready? They didn't, but they will. Don't you see? In one alternative future, they finished TDE and sent a Terminator back to our times. That has to be the one you saw. You couldn't have seen it otherwise. It didn't exist yet. That would explain why they suddenly started to learn at such a geometric rate. This is big. This is really big. So if it's done, then... What the fuck can we do now? We can still fight for this future. Our future. You could stop Skynet before they finish building time displacement equipment and send any more Terminators back. I'm forwarding everything I've learned to Connor. He needs to know. And you go report back to Baron. Speaking of Baron... What happened between you and Baron? Years ago, Connor gave an order to infect Skynet with a virus. To do it, we had to reboot a T-800 model I was trying to reprogram. I warned them that I wasn't done and that the Terminator was fully functional, but they didn't listen. So, as expected, it went online and sent our coordinates to Skynet. But not only that, 
It attacked and killed Perry. Baron took it personally because they were... an item. She's been holding a grudge ever since. I got that chip for you. Is it any different from the others? Is it any different? Of course it is! Its CPU is a neural net processor, a learning computer. It's been updated to incorporate infiltrating techniques. Thus, its processing power exceeds any other chip. This could be exactly what we need to win this war, Jacob. I have to warn you. Baron sent me to kill you. If she finds out that I didn't, she'll send someone who will. Thank you for telling me. If what you're saying is true, I don't have much time. As soon as I'm done packing, I'll be on my way. I've already sent all the blueprints and access codes to Connor. Grab that plasma behind you, and go see Baron.